Hi, I'm Colin with Blue Marble Consulting, and in this demo, I'm going to be displaying capabilities of accounts receivable in SAP HANA. First, we're going to check overdue receivables in HANA, and to do that, we'll start in our dashboard here, and we'll just click on overdue receivables. We're going to go through the customer list where we can check all outstanding items and capture a promise to pay for those open items. So once we're looking at the overdue receivables, we can filter down by period and by customer, and then go to process receivables, where we can see that the status is broken for one of our promises. So we'll create a promise for this document, and then click OK for a particular date and who promised the document. And now you can see that we have a promise to pay. So that's going over the overdue receivables. Next we'll be looking at using SAP's working capital analytics where we can identify drivers of high days sales outstanding in turn reducing the total days sales outstanding. So we'll click on once we're in the dashboard again we'll go to the analyze days sales outstanding and from here we will create an analysis path. So start, we'll choose an analysis step, and we'll look at the countries of customers, and we'll look at a line chart for the overdue day sales outstanding by country of customer over time. And you can see that this chart is very messy, but at the very top here we can see that there is a high amount of overdue day sales outstanding for this particular country. So we can drill down into that further. And from here, we can add another step to our analysis path and help clean this up a little bit so it looks a lot less messy. And so from here, we can go and add in a customer and scroll down. We can look at the day sales outstanding and revenue by customer. From here, we can turn this into a scatter plot chart. Where we can see it's a lot cleaner right now. And we'll take a look at this outlier over here, and drill down into this, and from here we can add another analysis step for this particular customer. And we'll scroll down again, and we'll add the receivables category, and add the list of open receivables, and put it into a table. So from here we have a table now, and I'll go ahead and expand this. And we'll look at, we have our receivables and display currency over here that we'll take a look at a little bit further. And from here, we can take a look at all of the receivables. Now, we can also minimize that again and go back to our previous screen and save this analysis path that we had just set up. And this is the customer who's Balbos, and we'll go ahead and save that analysis path for later. And so that was using the working capital analytics. In addition, Blue Marble Consulting can help you review your collection work list. And by using the easy functionality of SAP Fiori, it's possible to see standard actions like promise to pay, dispute case, and resubmission. You can also see the graphical views of overdue items of a customer. And so now, back in Fiori here, We'll take a look at the process, we'll process the collections work list right here. And we can select any customer, I'm sorry, we can click on any customer priority to see the valuation details. And in addition, we can also select any customer by clicking on the arrow over here to see the collection details. And we can go to the due date grid to see the amount overdue in grid form. In addition, we can go back to the invoices tab and select any open invoice by clicking on that document to see information about that invoice. So we can also go back now and create a promise to pay. And we'll create one again for a particular date and press OK. And now again we've created another promise to pay. 
Now going back, we can also go through the overdue line items by customer, by dumbing level, and also directly move to the receivable work list, where you can see the customer balance of a list of customers, block and unblock the customer for dunning, send correspondence, and etc. So from here, we'll open up the Fiori app again. And we'll take a look at the dunning level distribution. And click on this grid right here to see the details. You can also select by customer. And for this, we'll do the top 10 that are overdue. And you can see the dunning level distribution by customer. And again, you can also drill down into this by clicking on the actual graph. And we'll take a look at the customer line items. And we can drill down even further into this. And we'll say that we will go ahead and investigate this further. Click OK. And so as you can see, this is, makes it easy to go through the overdue line items by customer, dunning level, and then also directly move to the receivable work list. And so that will conclude this demo. If you have any questions or comments, please email us at info at sap-bmc.com.